Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Shanika Marie and I am a faith-based encourager here on YouTube. If you are new here, welcome to the channel. If you aren't new here, hey faith friend, how you doing? I hope you're having a great day today. Let's go ahead and get into this video. So if you haven't already seen, the title of this, vid of, of this video is God Needs You to Understand This. I felt this on my heart because this is something that the Lord has been walking me through this week. And I felt um, that I wanted to share this with someone else. I'm not sure who this video is going to be for, but you're going to know it is for you as we get into the details of this video. So let's go ahead and get started. So the Lord placed it upon my heart and he said, God, I'm sorry. He said that I need my children to understand this. So I want to start this video off with this. When certain circumstances come up against us, we can forget how big God is. I'm going to say that again. When certain circumstances come up against us, we can we can tend to forget how big our God is. We can forget how much he loves us because our circumstances can cause us so much anxiety and fear. And so... Um, I wanted to start the video off with this because this was something that recently happened to me. There were a few things that were happening back to back that just felt just outside of my control. I couldn't really do anything about them. And I don't know if you're like me, I'm a fixer. And so I can tend to try to fix things, sometimes going ahead of God, not really praying about it, but just trying to, fi to, trying to be, you know, God's help in certain situations, right? And so... Um, so many things, like it was a couple of things that was happening and I found myself just not being able to sleep. And so, um, I ended up waking up and I just cast my cares on the Lord. Like I ended up just writing some notes down in my notes, um, of my phone and just telling the Lord, casting my cares and literally telling the Lord everything that was burdening in me. Right. And so, um, as I'm journaling, you know, I started to feel lighter and, um, something that God said to me that I wanted to share with you because I believe everybody needs to hear this. God said to me, I am not a God where I have so many children that I can't keep my loving eye on all of them. I'm going to say it again. I am not a God where I have so many children that I can't keep my eye on all of them. I have my loving eye on you all. I am always watching I see the struggles that you go through. I see the struggles that your family goes through. I see it all and I care. When things feel out of control, you automatically go to the mindset, the mindset of you're the only one who cares, which is a lie from the enemy. And this lie leads to fear, it leads to anxiety, and it leads to worry and frustration. And if anybody else struggle with that mindset of just feeling like, Dang, I'm the only one who cares because your circumstance just feels so big in the moment. God wanted me to come on here and record this video to let you know that he cares about you. He cares about that circumstance that you're facing. He cares about that fear and that anxiety that is plaguing you even now that you haven't even been able to really focus today because this thing has been on your mind and heart all day. God sent me here to tell you that he cares and that he sees you and that he has his loving eye on you. So he gave me a scripture and this scripture has been popping up for me for a while now. And I was just like, OK, Lord, um, let me sit with this, sit with this scripture and really study it. So um, the scripture is Jeremiah 31 and three, and it reads, I have loved you, my people with an everlasting love, with unfailing love, I have drawn you to myself. I'm going to read it in a different version because as I was studying, something that I tend to do when I'm studying the word, I will look at certain scriptures in just different translations and see which one hit different for me. <laughs> and so I think I didn't write uh, which version this is down. I think it may be CSB. But um, Jeremiah 31, 3, it reads, I have loved you with an everlasting love. Therefore, I have continued my faithfulness to you. So in, um, in my quiet time, I was just journaling about what everlasting love means, right? 
Everlasting means a love that lasts forever. It is a love that's from beginning to end. It never changes, right? It is a love that is reliable and constant. It is a love that is steady and it never changes, right? It is a love that still remains even when others' love goes away. A love that is always present, right? So I'm not sure who this video is for, but maybe you're in a circumstance and you're just like, Lord, where are you? Let me give you something that you can pray. God, where is your everlasting perfect love in this situation? Can you show me your love? Can you help me to feel your love? Because you can be honest with God. You can just say, Lord, I don't feel love right now. I need you to show me. I need to feel it, right? Because sometimes, y'all, we just get so discouraged and we need to Lord the Lord to let us know that he sees us, right? I know I've talked about, you know, in a video, videos before about one of my, my favorite prayers is, God, let me know you see me. It's nothing wrong for asking the Lord, with, with asking the Lord, God, show me that you're with me, right? So, um, so yeah, so here's what I want you to do. If you find yourself in just these circumstances where you're just like, I'm just so overwhelmed. I don't know what to do. I want you to meditate on this scripture, Jeremiah 31 and 3. And I want you to ask the Lord to help you to believe this scripture in your heart, to help you to understand it. Because y'all, one thing I have noticed and I've come to understand it ain't good to just have head knowledge. You got to understand things and you have to believe it in your heart. So ask the Lord to help you not just know that he loves you, but understand that he loves you. And most importantly, believe that he loves you. Okay? So that's what I want you to do. I want you to meditate on that scripture, Jeremiah, Jeremiah 31 and 3. And I want you to ask the Lord to help you believe that he loves you and to help you to under really understand it and to really get it in your heart that he loves you and he has his loving eye on you at all times, right? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, um, that's all I have for this video. I want to pray. And then if you stay to the end of the video after prayer, I have a special, um, special something for you. So let's go ahead and let's um, pray. Father God, I just thank you. I just thank you for just using me through this video for just um, showcasing your love through my obedience, Father God. Someone watching this video, God, needs to feel your love. And I pray that this will be just confirmation for somebody, God. That that I, I'm praying, Lord, that you will give somebody a new experience with your love, just like you did me the other day, Father God. God, I pray that you use this video, put it on the phone screen, the TV, the uh, the um. For you page, Father God, the um, tablet, whatever they're watching on, God, I pray that you would just use this video in a mighty way to get this message to your people, God, to get it to your children so that they can know how loved they are, God. Lord, we rebuke all lies from the enemy right now that are telling them that they are by themselves, that are telling them that they're not loved, they're, that are telling them that they are not cared for. God, we rebuke those things and we send it back to hell, those thoughts back to hell where they belong, Father God. We thank you that we have a Heavenly Father who loves us and cares so much about us and that we don't have to do anything on our own, Father God. So Lord, I just pray for everyone who is watching this video today that they will get, they will have a new experience with you your love, Father God. And I pray that they would just meditate on your love and meditate on your promise and, and know that it is available to them. So Father, I love you. I'm just so grateful for you. And God, I just thank you for just how you are using this channel. And you know, you're just bringing your children here, God, to just be reaffirmed, to just, just, to, to just be seen through this channel. You know, that has been my prayer since the beginning of this channel, God, that people will just feel seen by you, not me, but by you, Father God. So Lord, I just love you and I honor you and I praise your holy name. It is in Jesus name. I pray. Amen. 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 So y'all, I pray that this video was an encouragement for someone. So I want to share a little something special with you all. So I don't know if you can see this. Hopefully you can. 
and excuse my broken nail, y'all. So this is a necklace that I wear to remind myself of God's love. So the necklace says love. And this is one of my really good friends' company. It is a mental and wellness brand here, a woman-owned business here in Richmond, Virginia, where I live. And so I am one of her ambassadors. And so if you are looking, I don't know if you are, but I know I am. I love wearing stuff to just remind me to keep walking by faith, right? I wear faith-based apparel. I love necklaces. I love anything with a message, okay? And so um, I just felt led to share this. And if you are someone who is just looking for something to remind you of God's love, just looking for something to keep you encouraged, I want to encourage you to get one of these necklaces. And I have a coupon code. So the website is www www.soulriseessentials.com and I'm going to have that in the description box and if you use my code um, Shanika Marie you'll get 10% off your purchase um and so yeah I just really felt led because this is a literally a necklace I wear every day I wear my be encouraged necklace by Betty Nicole and um I'll put that link down um in the description box as well but I absolutely love my love necklace as well because when I look in the mirror it is just a reminder to me that I'm loved by God right y'all I will never forget um there was a moment I was just really going through a hard time I don't know if it was last year, maybe a year before last. And I'll never forget um, someone um, at my church, you know, came up to me. We were talking and, you know, the Lord gave her a word for me. And she just said these simple words of Shanika, you are loved. Like God loves you so much, y'all. And I just broke down in tears because, you know, I was just going through, right? I was just going through a really hard time. And you just, sometimes you just need a reminder, right? And so that day, the Lord used her to remind me. And so I think maybe a week or two after, my friend actually came out with these necklaces. So I just had to get one because I felt like that was literally the Lord just affirming me in that moment, right? So I had to get one. So I'm encouraging you to get one as well, just as a staple and a reminder that God loves you so much. So again, the coupon code is going to be Shanika Marie, but I'll have all of that information in the description box. So we would just love the support. I know she would love the support. She doesn't even know that I'm doing this, but I know that she would love the support. And um, so, yeah, I just wanted to just share that on my channel um, just to support her business and also just um, so that you can have something to remind you of God's love, just something to wear. So as you look in the mirror and you can also use this to remind other people that they're loved as well. Right. So, yeah, just wanted to share that. Before I got off of here, I pray that this video was encouraging for you. And if it was, don't forget to let me know in the comments because I love speaking with you all in the comments and just, you know, just hearing about all that God is doing in you all's life. Okay, so I pray that you enjoy this video, faith friend, and I will talk to you in the next one. Peace.